Hi guys, Seth Cole here of the SJ Sports Channel. This is uh, probably a random video we'll be putting out, but I got so excited about this because this car actually seemed to do exactly what I wanted it to do, and it's probably, to me, one of the best paint schemes I've actually put together. Uh, it's it's a ride, I'll give you the background, basically. Um, I was going to race in the uh, Norrell Cup Series, and I forgot that I had actually used up my three starts there, and you're not allowed to uh, make a you know, to run the whole season, you're only allowed to run three starts if you're a silver class driver, which is what I was. So, uh, I had actually made this, uh, Dishonored paint scheme for that series, and it, you know, I wasn't able to run it. So I thought, well, you know what, I'm going to take the concept that I figured out for that, and I'm going to put it on a BR Gen 6 car, and, uh, run it for the TNR Super Speedway series. And so, this is going to be, uh, showing you guys what the result of it was. I still do have to put on the, uh, B-pillars, and I got to work out a few more associate sponsors that I may end up sticking here and there on the car, uh, on possibly the C-pillar, and over on the, uh, left and right rear quarter panels. But I wanted to show you the, uh, the steps that I took to do this. Um, you'll notice that that the uh, there's like scales on both the left and right side that's actually a venom scales I'd actually found a venom base scheme for uh, what was it BR 2010 mod and I actually did some cutting and pasting and was able to put it onto a BR gen 6 mod and you're gonna see as well when I show you the logos and everything in the number uh, they kind of looked bland with just black behind them. So you'll see that on the hood and on the roof, I actually was able to find some red smoke on uh, Google and post that on here too. So it actually looks really, really cool when you'll see the sponsors uh, in front of it with the accent of the red smoke. But uh, the Dishonored logos are already on there. Uh, that's going to be the main sponsor that I'm going to be running. And uh, the reason that they're already on here is because I can't have them as a layer because I ended up doing a cut and paste and pasted them right on the base layer. So... You know, no biggie, but uh, you're able to see ahead of time what the sponsor looks like. But anyway, uh, let me show you what I did first with the numbers. And let's bring them up. I actually did something rather unusual for me. I actually took and I did a, a picture in the numbers. You'll notice that it's kind of like a marbled gray. That's because I took a dark cloud picture and actually used it... Um, as a like a wallpaper for the inside of the 30 car and I thought that the gray clouds which could in essence also kind of look like smoke kind of kind of take and they counteract the red smoke on the back of the car and so I thought that was pretty cool so I was really excited when that actually happened and then I ended up finding these sponsorships too to be able to go I want to first look at the hood uh, this thing actually had just black behind it before I did the, the red smoke idea but look with the red smoke on it now that is amazing. It fits so perfect on it. And then, of course, uh, there's the side. We're going to bring Corvo on the side there. There he is on the uh, left and right side. And then I'm like, well, what am I going to do with that rear quarter panel? You know what? Let's try and find another picture of Corvo. And so this happened. So there's another picture of Corvo. Oops, I'm showing that one. Don't want to show that one yet. There we go. Corvo on the uh, quarter panels. And I'm probably going to put something over on the... Uh, on the further on the back of the quarter panel. I don't know what sponsor I'm going to put on there just yet, but I thought that was kind of cool. Him up on a uh, windowsill, and it kind of fits with the upgrade of the quarter panel there on both left and right. And then I decided, you know what, let's give it a little bit of something on the back there. You got the rookie stripes there. Let's fit a little Corvo face into it. Perfect. It actually almost looks like an Assassin's Creed thing. That's almost weird. But that way, it kind of gives a little bit of an accent to it. I was actually the uh, Dishonored um, Game of the Year edition logo that's actually on the rear deck lid. I was actually going to put on the back, and I thought, you know what? Let's make it a little bit more interesting. So that's what I was able to come up with there. Um, I'll put the B pillars and uh, the name and everything on there. But I thought I'd show this to you guys just because I was really excited because of this paint scheme. Uh, I think it's one of the best paint schemes I've been able to make. Um, and... I actually had made a Dishonored paint scheme earlier this morning um, to be able to run with the 30 car, and it didn't look anything like this. So I think this is definitely going to be the primary scheme. But that's a look at it. Uh, this is, you know, it's not the the Friday Painters Friday vlogs or anything. Just wanted to show it to you guys and uh, see what you thought. So um, that's basically it. Just a random video, and I'll see you guys later. Yeah, I'm so random.